Are you stuck deciding between a stream deck for convenient control of car functions and PC shortcuts? Or maybe you want a tactile button box that adds some immersion? Well, you might not have to choose. Racebox GTR Carbon Fiber Button Box could be your solution. In case you're not up to speed, the Elgato Stream Deck, initially aimed at streamers and content creators, has become a hit with sim racers. Why? Well, it's highly customizable, functional, and its OLED buttons can change appearance and labels in a snap. On the other hand, a traditional sim racing button box simply acts as a game controller for your PC, letting you map various inputs to the buttons and knobs. But many argue that a button box cranks up the immersion factor. It makes you feel like you're in the driver's seat of your favorite race car, with the satisfying sensation of pushing buttons and turning the knobs. Racebox's GTR button box aims to bring together the best of both worlds. Now let's take a quick look at Racebox. They're based in Toluco, Mexico, and they offer a range of button boxes and LED flag displays for sim racing at pretty reasonable prices. And that's thanks to the 3D printed enclosures. This cost-saving approach doesn't skimp on build quality though or attention to detail, making Racebox products stand out to me. So let's dive into this review's main points to help you decide if the GTR Carbon Fiber Button Box is the perfect addition to your personal sim racing setup. Now let's talk about the price. The GTR Button Box comes in at $179 US, and that's before considering any shipping, taxes, or extra fees. If you want to throw in an extra USB cable along with your purchase, it would cost you an additional $5. Personally, I think they could have just included it, but hey, some folks might appreciate the option if they've got a stash of spare USB cables lying around. Let's kick things off with the build quality and design of the GTR button box from Racebox Sim Racing. This button box is part of Racebox's carbon fiber collection, featuring a genuine 2mm twill weave carbon fiber front plate presented in a sleek matte finish, a feature I personally appreciate. The enclosure itself is 3D printed using premium matte black filament. It looks pretty good, although it might be my least favorite aspect of this box. However, it's worth noting that it's the part you see the least and interact with the least. In terms of dimensions, this button box stands at around 9 inches in height, 7 inches in width, and has a depth of about 2 inches. It strikes a great balance between being compact enough to fit into most sim racing setups and being large enough to enhance both functionality and aesthetics. The standout design feature here is the ability to seamlessly integrate a stream deck within the box. To achieve this, you simply remove the front cover plate, insert your stream deck, it's essential to specify the generation of Stream Deck you have when ordering, then you would secure it in place and route the USB cord out the back. The fit is snug giving off the impression of a complete integration. During use I didn't experience any shifting or movement of the Stream Deck. Overall the button box features a well put together design and feels like a quality product. One design aspect I wasn't particularly fond of was the cover plate for the actual Stream Deck, which had a somewhat sparkly textured finish which felt a bit crafty. I personally think a matte finish would have been a more elegant choice, but design preferences vary so you might like it. Additionally, the Stream Deck cover accent on the side is customizable at the time of order, offering three color options black, red, and blue. Naturally I went for red to match my branding. On the back of the enclosure you'll find four by M5 nuts which are Visa 75 compatible. This feature ensures compatibility with various button box mounts or Visa mounting options you may have. Regarding connections, the USB port for the button box can be found at the rear. You also have the option to purchase a USB cable at the time of ordering for an additional $5, providing you added convenience. Now let's explore the features and inputs on this box. Starting from the top, we've got the standout feature, a 6061 billet aluminum brake bias knob. You can order this in either black or red as shown here. It's paired with a high detent force center encoder. Just below that, you'll find two additional rotary encoders with push buttons. Moving down the line, there's a row of four LED illuminated push buttons with a static white light. Below these buttons, you'll encounter two momentary toggle switches. And to the right, there's a striking illuminated start engine button. And then lastly, a latching toggle switch with cover, which is obviously ideal for ignition input. While you may not have an abundance of inputs here, it's crucial to remember that these serve as your more fundamental controls. You still have the integrated Stream Deck now for endless inputs, but in combination with these buttons and knobs, I found it really adequate for my needs. Additionally, Racebox includes a label sheet with numerous options and colors to personalize your button box. They even throw in a download link for free Stream Deck icons to complete the customized look. 
The GTR Button Box is a straightforward plug and play device, requiring no drivers or additional software. Once connected, it's automatically recognized by Windows as a gaming device, allowing you to map any controllable inputs in your SIM to the controls on the button box. It doesn't get much easier than this. I put it to the test with all the major titles, as Racebox has done, and it seamlessly integrates with no issues. Now, when it comes to how this product performs and how it feels to interact with, it's a fairly straightforward sim racing accessory, so there's not much complexity to evaluate. The buttons have a solid quality feel to them and don't come off as cheap to me. The encoders all have a satisfying feel and an amount of indentation when turned, making them easy to handle. Overall, everything feels sturdy and well put together, especially considering the price point. If you're dealing with limited space and appreciate the concept of having both a stream deck and physical buttons, the GTR button box presents an excellent out of the box solution. While there might be potentially cheaper DIY alternatives or the option to try, obviously try building one yourself, not everyone has access to a 3D printer or the expertise to undertake such a product. In that regard, the button box offers a hassle-free and compelling option, and I can easily recommend it. If you enjoyed the review or found it helpful, please do me a favor and hit the like button. It really does help grow the channel. Consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified when I drop another video. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy your racing. Thank you.